consultants, council contributions, marketing and selling expenses, project closing and leasing expenses, and miscellaneous costs. All of these can be customized. You can call them whatever you wanted to call them. Everything that's blue can be changed. And um, now you can come in and do your, uh, just put in your inputs. So I've already explained what these 10% uh, things are on the side. They are just your GST. If you have any other tax, you can select that or select just um, um, uh, um, a wet or NA or whatever and change the percentage and that'll change the percentage over here. These, because they are in blue, they can be overridden. So if you wanted to override them, you can. So let's continue with adding all the consultants and other costs in there. So what do you want to allow for consultants? Now, always keep an eye on what this is saying at the top. This says pound or dollar per saleable unit. Now, if you allow consultants and call it five grand, that five grand is actually going to be taken as per unit, not as the total. So if you've got three units, what you are essentially doing is is telling the software that I'm allowing 15 grand for the whole project. So just make sure that this is dollar per saleable unit and that's not for the entire allowance for the construction. Now, over here, if you wanna use a percentage method, I'll just make that as zero, otherwise it'll keep red. If you wanna make this as a percentage of percentage method, I use percentage of construction costs. And in this scenario, because it's only three units, I would allow, uh, let's say maybe 3% for the construction cost of the total construction cost. And this is for the entire project. So this is 3% or whatever the total construction costs are going to be. I'm going to allow 3% of that uh, for consultants and for professional reports that I might need to get. For this, I'm going to allow another 3%. In this scenario or let's say 3.5 percent in this scenario i actually make that as 3.5 percent as that so all together i've got about seven percent allowed for in reports all kind of different reports soil tests uh traffic uh report um all those things have allowed about seven percent altogether off the total construction costs in consultants council contributions again if you know them and you can find out because every council, every uh, state authority has a different way of doing this calculation based on their density, what they wanna do based on their infrastructure capacity. They have all different formulas. I don't think there's any software in the world that can actually cater and give you a calculation for every different, uh, every council in the world. So um, it's best to actually find out what that is or you can allow a percentage of the land value. So here, just be careful what that actually means. So in Victoria, if we are doing three, three units um, uh, or up to four units, it's usually 4% of the land value. And if I'm doing uh, more than five units, it's usually still 5%. So in this scenario, I'm just gonna allow 3% of the land value because I'm only developing three units. Um, I'm only doing three townhouses in this scenario. So I'm just going to allow 3%. But if you knew what you would be paying for each sellable unit, let's say you don't know that you're going to be uh, whatever the amount is. Let's say you only figure out that you'll have to pay 36500 bucks, And you call your council, you say, look, I'm developing five units and that's what I'm gonna be paying. And the council says, okay, this is your council fee for this. So, and that's for five units, for example, that's what you found out. You come in, you divide that by five, you got a number 7,300, and you can come in here, put 7,300, whoops, and make this as zero. So that's what these two columns are always there for. It's either or. So in my scenario, I'm gonna stick with 3% because I'm only doing three units um, and that's what I've got. Infrastructure levy is another, it's, it does the exact same thing. Uh, just make sure that it's, uh, it's there. Um, council contribution, it is there, but if it's GST, you don't have to worry about, people from Australia don't have to worry about, there will be no GST calculated on any one of these things. 
uh, it's there because it's also an international version and if they wanted to select something else and change the percentage it would work that way but over here i'm just going to put zero over there there is no infrastructure levy that i will have to pay that's fine marketing and selling expenses i've got agents commission for residential units again this is uh, pound or dollar per saleable unit and um, I can either put in as a percentage of the GRV. So let's say towards the end, I would end up paying, let's say 1.7% um, as a, a value of the total end value of the of the each of these units. And I can put in 1.7% here, or if you are going to pay your agent flat $15,000 per unit, you can come in here and put $15,000 here and make that as zero. I usually go by percentages because it is a lot easier because that's what they charge. Any kind of marketing expenses? Now, in this scenario, I usually don't go by a percentage of GRE. I usually allow make an allowance that when I start my marketing, I'll be spending money on getting uh, artist impressions and, and renders and 3D renders, uh, some uh, marketing online and some uh, brochures and all that thing. So I would allow maybe, let's say $6,500 per saleable unit that means when i do the calculation it'll end up 6500 times three that means because i'm doing three units over here so i will allow for that uh, over here uh, project closing and leasing expenses legals on settlement so when i do the settlement again now this time <clears throat> i don't go by a percentage of gre I just go that okay for every unit I'll end up paying about fifteen hundred dollars or let's say one six five zero uh, for settlement. I don't have anything leasing over here because it is it is not a commercial property, so I I don't want to allow anything over there. And any other miscellaneous closing costs I'll allow about two thousand dollars in there uh, per unit to be able to figure that out. Then miscellaneous allowance is like a contingency. Now in this scenario, I allow them per unit um, so I've got 4,000 there is no either or in this section but over here you will always have either or so if I was to put 0 0.05 um, 0 0.5 over here it'll still go red miscellaneous allowance you've got 4,000 uh, over here and that's all I need to put in